and welcome back survivors. Today I want to talk about probably what's going to be about the largest item that I talk about in this gear guide. And uh, that is uh, the camping wood burning stove. Now for reference, yes, I'm an avid outdoorsman. Uh, nine months of the year, no question. Three, or depending on how long your winter can be, to six months of the year, there can be a question mark. But I also like to keep this as a little bit of a preparation item. Uh, from my reference point, about nine months ago, the Texas power grid went down as of the recording of this video. And for your reference, I had several family members who were living in Texas at the time. So I paid attention to that. So when it came time to start looking into the next round of camping this year, my wife and I agreed that it was time I actually upgraded to a wood burning stove option. And in the event that the grid went down in our neighborhood, we'd be just going back to the wood burning stove option. So with that kind of mentality of the dual purpose of something to make your camping life more comfortable, as well as a just in case item for around the house, I wanted to talk about the wood burning stove that I had picked up. It is marked as a camping stove, but at about 23 pounds, it can be questionable if you would call it backpacking. It's absolutely if you are vehicle driving to the camp, or even if you have a party of backpackers in which this is one person's primary load, or even if you just have a sled that you could put this on, this absolutely could go into the middle of the woods. But I didn't want you thinking that this counts as ultra light, and I'm not trying to say it is. It's 23 pounds, but I think it's a valuable 23 pounds to add to your versatility of your camp kit. As you can tell, it's pretty standard, good solid uh, iron, or pardon me, steel. I do appreciate the fact that it's just shy of one foot depth, so you can get sizable logs into this. To give you an idea of its uh, cavity space, it also has some versatility when it comes to its features here. Obviously, you've got your standing cooktop here, which has a lot of optionals for how much space you want to have open and available. And that all varies, of course, on what you're cooking on it. You would just use your standard backpacking gear in. You've got that perfectly fine. If you're, part, if you're camping with a party, or quite frankly, you just drink this much coffee like Commander Tom does, you have room for either, and frankly, you have room for both. So there's a lot of room just with that standard setup. With this equipment though, you have more room available. It does have very easy to add on, put this on properly. They're touted as warming racks, but quite frankly, I found that if you have a box going, you can easily cook something and even boil water, bringing these things close enough to it. And that gives a lot of space right there. You can cook your primary focus here and keep everything warm right along this. And to give you an idea of how it burns in real life, you'll see we already have this in operation. Right now I'm just using one section of the chimney because this isn't going into a shelter. I'm just using it to uh, wood burn some supper for me tonight. We'll go ahead and, op and open it up to give you an idea what it looks like on the interior I mean it's a fire it's a wood burning stove it's hard to screw these things up so I hope that helps again this is the uh, camping wood burning stove it does retail for about hundred and seventy dollars so I acknowledge that is slightly on the higher side compared to my other equipment but I've commonly seen wood burning stove going over three four hundred dollars or more so I found that this was a great quality when you're giving an apples to apples comparison for it. If this is something you're interested in adding to your own gear, check the link down below. Going through those links do help the channel and I do appreciate you for it. And if you're interested in more gear for your route packing, go ahead and check the link. I'm Commander Tom. I'll see you next time. Thanks.